So this is the surgical guide here. And there's actually two guides. So the first guide is simply for piloting. And, and, and this is unique because, you know, when, when an MSEs first came out and even when custom RPs first came out, and even now, uh, there are still practitioners who don't subscribe to the idea of, of piloting. They just don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, what is piloting? Yeah, so piloting. So basically what piloting is, is it's, it's using some type of drill in order to create a hole within the cortical bone, that, that first cortical plate, the hard plate. So, I mean, you're looking at a skull like this, all the things that you see are cortical bone. So it basically punctures through the cortical bone in that area. The screws that the, ta the TADs are actually self-tapping screws. So they are designed to be able to puncture through that cortex. But just like a self-tapping screw, like if you're using a sheet metal screw, for instance, you know, if you're pushing straight down on the sheet metal, it works perfect every time. It just goes straight in. But if it's at an angle one way or the other, it might slip a little bit before it engages. It might go, you know, the other way. And, and there's some wiggle room as far as where that may actually lock into that cortical bone. And the challenge that that can cause is, is two things. So one is it can cause undue stress on the appliance. It can cause the screws to work against each other. So one slips this way, one slips that way. And then you're trying to tighten these things down in and you can't because the screws are actually binding in the lumens of the appliance. Um, but for me, the most important thing is that there's always going to be, with, with the exception of, of, of FME, again, this was something they overcome, but if you just have a lumen or a sleeve going around the tad, there's always going to be some degree of wiggle room. It can never be 100% perfect fit because it can't, it can't, it wouldn't be able to, it would bind. You wouldn't be able to actually deliver it. So there's always a little wiggle room between the sleeve and the tad that's going inside the metal sleeve. And so if those screws go a little bit off, well, now your anchorage is different than you planned to a small degree. Now, is that significant? Like time will tell. But from my standpoint, it's a lot easier and more predictable to pilot first, which means you take a small drill and there's different piloting drills and you puncture that area. And with FME specifically, the guide is designed to fit as ideally as possible. And it is a plastic guide, plastic type guide, 3D printed guide, and so basically that piloting drill can only go straight up and down in, in one specific area. And so you go and you pilot, 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 punctures the hole. Then there's a second piloting drill, which takes that hole and moves it just a little bit further down into that spongy bone so that when the tad goes in, it has a nice site that is already ready to receive that tad in the exact angulation that was planned. So piloting is built into the design of the FME. They it, it, don't even give you a choice. That's correct. It's part of the process. I mean, so could you try to place the TADs without piloting? You could try to, but I don't know why anybody would do that. And in the case of the FME, the TADs probably just wouldn't lock because of the, the margin of error. There. That's correct. That margin of error, when you got down to the point where you're actually trying to lock the TAD in, my guess is that it would be very difficult to get that to go. And a lot of times it probably wouldn't.